This feels like, I mean, if I was going to, I would want to sing We Are the Champions right yeah. now. Would that be appropriate? Yeah! Do it. Let's yeah. Go. <laughs> we, no, my voice is terrible. I've been talking too much tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, really Thank you. amazing. I mean, Thank you. I, I imagine this was a, an incredibly sort of challenging feat and a very important part of this film in terms of getting the, the sound right, obviously being a, such an intrinsic part to the story. Mm. Where do you start with that? And, and, and what's the most challenging part of, of Bohemian Rhapsody and getting the sound right on it? Johnny. Well, yeah. uh, the most challenging... When, when, we, when we first saw the script, it was definitely going to be Live Aid. We, we sort of discussed about how we could recreate Live Aid. And uh, uh, the, the big worry is, of course, you can actually go on YouTube and watch Queen perform Live Aid. So we wondered, what, what are we going to do that's different to that? What, what can we do for a cinema audience? Yeah. So it was definitely recreating Live Aid. How do we sort of try to recreate those? Obviously... We, we wanted to sort of match the performance that Rami and the, the rest of the cast had put in on that shoot. Yeah. And uh, so, so we knew we'd, we'd need a, a very big crowd. So uh, that's, that's, that was our biggest worry. It's, but, it's seamless, though, in terms of the way you have this incredible performance from Rami that you're talking about and the band as well, you know, playing yeah. all the other members. Yeah. But, but, but kind of getting that right so it's not just someone miming, you know. It's, it was really important to, to get his kind of energy into that as well and being able to marry those two things of the authentic Freddie but also Rami's performance. Was that how easy or hard was that to do? Yeah, I mean, Rami did a, such a fantastic job. Job, obviously on set, performing as Freddie on stage, totally believable, but then obviously we had to put Freddie's voice into his mouth. And that we d did that by using Freddie's original recording and using other bits and pieces that we got from Rami on stage, his breathing, his lip smacks and everything, just to tie it into his mouth. But, you know, he did so much of the legwork there, it's amazing. How emotional is it, you know, making this film? Because for me as a film fan and as a Queen fan, I found it incredibly emotional at the end. I just felt so sad at the loss of he's not around anymore. Being part of that, and I'm assuming being Queen fans and, and being able to get to that raw material, what was that like for you? Well, it was actually incredible to just even get all of the original um, multi-track units from Queen. Yeah. They're such an iconic band and such an iconic sound. So knowing that we had the responsibility to also um, get that sound back and yeah. put it in the theatre environment, um, that was emotional enough as it was. And then when you couple in Freddie's story and the arc of the film, it was uh, truly incredible. By the time you get to We Are the Champions at the end, there's so many people in the audience that are actually just openly sobbing, and just like it's great to see. It's great to see. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, yeah. congratulations on Thank the film, and congratulations, quite rightly, so on your recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Have a Thank great you. night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.